scared. Where's the school? It said Shujin on the gate. What's going on here? Typically, any fast-paced PS4 games aren't really fit for remote play due to the slight delay that can easily mess up the gameplay. Obviously, your internet speed can also help or tarnish your experience. However, given that Persona 5 is heavily story-driven, on top of being a turn-based strategy game, it's simply the easiest and best type of game to remote play on your PlayStation Vita. Coming from someone who looks for any excuse to pick up my Vita, over the past three and a half years or so, I've rarely used remote play. I think the last time I used it extensively was to replay the PlayStation 4 port of Heavy Rain, another decent game to play via remote play. Jason! I can't remember the time before that. Back when the PS4 launched, one thing I noticed right off the bat was that realistic games like Dragon Age Inquisition or The Last of Us didn't really look great when streaming to the PlayStation Vita screen, although I found turning up the game's in-game brightness helps. I'm not sure why this is, but they look kind of watered down and blurry in my opinion. However, vibrant and heavily stylized games look magnificent on the PlayStation Vita in remote play. And once again, that's exactly what Persona 5 is. Persona 5 features a beautiful comic book-like art style that displays splendidly on the PlayStation Vita's OLED or LCD screen. And in my opinion, the Persona series works much better as a handheld game rather than a console experience. They're extremely long games, so it's hard to dedicate that much time in front of a TV. Also, it's such a pick-up-and-play game. It's really easy to jump in and out of. Traversing dungeons and collecting Personas is perfect for handheld gaming. After being devastated that Persona 5 wasn't coming to PlayStation Vita, Remote Play was the first thought afterwards, but I didn't know how well it would work. But in this case, I'm super stoked that it's working great. To make things easier, I'll list out my reasons why Persona 5, in my opinion, is the perfect Remote Play game. 1. Persona 5 has you standing still and talking to characters a ton. It's perfect for laying in bed and just listening to the story unfold. 2. It doesn't involve any fast-paced gameplay. That's good just in case your internet isn't great and the connection gets interrupted or slows down. 3. Features a bright and stylized art style that looks great on the PlayStation Vita via remote play. 4. Even if you lose connection, there's nothing to worry about because the story or gameplay doesn't continue without you. 5. It's easy to pick up and play, and that's thanks to how the dungeons are laid out and the day-night system the game uses. In other words, it's really easy to start and stop at any point. 6. The Persona franchise has always worked well on a handheld. Persona 3 Portable was great, and Persona 4 Golden is one of my favorite games of all time. And lastly, 7. The game controls aren't impossible on Vita. Mass Effect Andromeda, I'm looking at you. Actually, they're quite simple, almost exactly like Persona 4 Golden, and there's very little use of the back touchpad. I only had to use them for running throughout dungeons, which I rarely ever did. What are your thoughts on remote playing games to the PlayStation Vita? Have you tried streaming Persona 5 to it yet? Leave all your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm Brett Medlock, I will talk to you guys later.